Hello guys, in this video we'll be taking a look at the autosomal DNA, predicted phenotype, traits, NGD match results of a Bronze Age Northern Italian farmer, also known as Otzi the Iceman. This is his predicted phenotype with Nashakot and Ysek. He is predicted to have brown color eyes, Greek shaped nose and brown hair. With Snipper Freak he's actually predicted to have brown color eyes, black hair and white skin. Uh, he had blue eye haplotype 1, no blue eye haplotype 2 and no blue eye haplotype 4, so most likely dark eyes indeed. He had some variants in SLC 45A2 for lighter skin tone. He did not have the red hair, blue eye, pale skin hunter gatherer mutation, which is what I call IRF4 mutation. And he's actually got two derived variants in the main variation of SLC 24A4. Uh, basically the implications of this genotype is that he would have lighter color eyes and less likelihood of heterochromia. He's got this very unfortunate genotype in A2M gene which increases the odds of Alzheimer's for him. He's got this genotype which basic basically leads to worse cell adhesion in neurons and autism. And he's also got this genotype, he's got the no-go learner mutation in zrd 2 sporofrenatine pro variation. And I figured that out by imputing his genotype based on his uh, based on his genotype in a SNP that was located close by RS6279. Now, moving on to polygenic traits, he's got a slightly below average genetic risk score for Crohn's disease, he's got an average risk score for type 2 diabetes, he's got a average risk score for Parkinson's disease, he's got a high risk score for leukemia, uh, he's got a very low risk score for type 1 diabetes, uh, he's got a very low risk score for schizophrenia, uh, he's got a low risk score for bipolar disorder, and he's got an average risk score for asthma. Now let's move on to his GD match results. This is what he scores with Eurogenes K36. Uh, what's surprising to me is he did not score a lot of Basque. He mostly scored Iberian and Italian and West Mediterranean. Uh, so I guess not very similar to Basque people, but rather similar to Iberians, Italians, West Mediterraneans. This is what he scores with Eurogenes K13. Here we can see he definitely does not have any uh, in the European admixture, no West Asian, no Baltic, no Indo European components. And he has a lot of actually Western hunter gatherer or Northern like ancestry, which here we can see with the North Atlantic category. Uh, this is what he scores with the Eurogenes A and EK7. Now, uh, this is a very interesting calculator that I'm not sure if I wanted to include here because the ENF category clearly does not represent uh, Anatolian farmers or European farmers, it represents something completely different. Uh, maybe some kind of a hypothetical. Um, proto-Mediterranean, proto-Near Eastern populations such as basal Eurasians, for example. Uh, definitely not actual farmers. So with Eurogenes hunter-gatherer versus farmer, he is scoring mostly Mediterranean far farmer and not scoring any Anatolian farmer. Why is that? That's because Anatolian farmer here is actually not Anatolian farmer. It's actually Caucasus and Iranian ancestry, which he does not have. Here's what he scores with Pond DNA. Okay, then once again, another super pure result. You can see he's not scoring any Sub Saharan, he's not scoring any South Indian, any Oceanian, which means it's a modern, it's clearly a very modern individual with a lot of modern drift, uh, modern Sardinian slash Mediterranean drift. He is closest to Sardinians here, uh, but the oracles don't really. The oracles aren't really accurate. You see the distances are super high. That's because all of these people, all of these populations have more admixtures than just ENF and VHG. This is what he scores with Pond DNA LK10. Uh, here they, you can see they split up the Anatolian components in, into Anatolian, Neolithic and the Near East. So these are two separate components and he's scoring both of them. He's not very similar to Iceman reference here actually. Uh, but we all know how GED match and the references, they're so terrible. Uh, he is closest to Remedelo Bronze Age, and Remedelo Bronze Age is basically this cluster where the Iceman is from, so I'm not even sure how Iceman is supposed to be different from Remedelo. This is the result for him we see with uh, Ancient Eurasia K6. We can see he's actually scoring some Ancestral North Eurasian and some Ancestral South Eurasian, which I'm thinking is just uh, some kind of unresolved genetic drift or perhaps just noise because it's not a very high quality file. But because of this admixture, he's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Sardinian plus Gujarati or Sardinian plus Punjabi. This is what he scores with Gidrosia K3 and here we can see it's a very modern individual. He's got 97% West Eurasian and you know, that's a very modern result, modern European result. That's how modern Europeans would score with this Gidrosia K3 calculator. Now Gravetians, for example, from the Upper Paleolithic, they would score like 20% Sub-Saharan African, 30% East Eurasian, they would score all these exotic archaic admixtures, but this individual is modern. And um, European farmers are actually 
you could say they are the origin of this modern drift in Europeans. Thanks for watching my video until the end. The link to download this file in 23andMe format will be in the description. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.